finest. Our passion for music does. section, but we'll show you more throughout the day here at makingmusicmag.com, connecting the world through music. Hi, I'm Michael Fanolio. I'm the Van Doren brand manager for Danzer Inc. And we're the exclusive importer of Van Doren products in the U.S., along with uh, Dennis Wick from North America, Utah mouthpieces for brass instruments. So, welcome to NAM 2019. On the Van Doren side, um, we have a, a couple new things. So for uh, the big thing on the, the ligature side for us is we just expanded the pink gold ligature family. It was available this past year for B-flat clarinet and alto saxophone. Now it's available for bass clarinet as well as the rest of the saxophones. So soprano, tenor, and very saxophone. And all the different platings for the MOs, it just offers you slightly different tone colors and responses. That's the big thing for more of our professional market, the pink gold ligatures. If we make our way over to the other side here, uh, we can talk a little bit about what we have for the student market. Um, Van Doren has been making a reed called Juno for about six years now. And uh, the big new news for NAM is that now we, we've expanded the family to E-flat clarinet, soprano saxophone, and the biggest one, baritone saxophone. So now band directors, if they want to go full line Juno for the beginners or middle school kids, uh, now they can do that. So that's really big news for us. And the whole idea with Juno is it's a Van Doren reed, same Van Doren cane as, as all of our other cuts. Um, it's just specifically designed for easier response for younger students or immature amateurs, that type of thing. So easier vibration to help them get a better sound, a bigger sound from uh, earlier on in their development. And what that allows for band directors, they can start talking about more advanced musical concepts like you know balance and blend or getting a good sound rather than just getting a sound. So that's the whole idea behind you. I'm very excited about that. So welcome on the NAMM show, I'm Maxim, I'm co-founder of Sios Mouthpieces. We are doing like a custom mouthpieces for each musician. Uh, basically we are asking musicians first what they are looking for. Like are they looking for some brightness, uh, something more dark, a sound which is more spread, more focused, where is their setup and what kind of music they play. And based on that we are shaping the internal shape of the mouthpiece to reach their requests in terms of sounds and playing comfort. So we're based in Paris actually and we're doing that uh, for nearly two years and uh, we're really excited because it's our first NAM show. Uh, yeah. So what do we have over here? What are these? Oh. Can you explain these to us? Yeah, sure. Uh, these are different mouthpieces and we also customize the exterior of the mouthpiece. So these are fancy design you can add because all is 3D printed. This way we can make unique mouthpieces for each musician. So basically the musician go to our website. Uh, if you're a saxophonist, you fill an online form where you describe what you're looking for. You, you can talk with people on of our team and uh, based on that we design you a mouthpiece and you have 30 days to play it, to give feedback and based on this feedback we can improve the mouthpiece. We work back and forth to get it, uh, like, I mean if you want like slightly more moving or so on, we can adjust the geometry of the mouthpiece and so at the end you get a unique mouthpiece really custom for you. Very nice. And you can also check these models that signature models that we designed for uh, those guys and that you can buy on the website too.
consistency and quality unlike uh, is available in the market. Hello, my name is David Coons. I am the lead Oboe Reed tester at Jones Hill Reeds, and I'd just like to talk to you about our reeds today. We, should we? Yeah. Up here we have our purple artist Oboe and Bassoon. These reeds are designed for the intermediate to professional players. Um, they are all tuned at A440 Hertz. And down here we have our red string and purple string um, artist Oboe and Bassoon and our student red and English horn. And these are designed for the student player from elementary band all the way up to just about middle school. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joel Jaffe. I'm Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Bakun Musical Services. I'm here at the NAMM Show 2019 in the Eastman Music Company booth, of which Bakun Musical Services is part of the Eastman family. Here at the show, we're debuting our new Richard Hawkins by Bakun Mouthpiece. It is a clarinet mouthpiece that is 100% made on a CNC machine using hard rod rubber, fully machined, expertly designed, perfectly crafted, retails for $145 USD. We're also showing our custom-made clarinets. These are handmade in Vancouver, Canada. This clarinet right here features Coca-Cola wood, which is quite unusual in a clarinet. Most clarinets are made from Grenadilla wood, the black wood. But Coca-Cola gives a very warm, rich sound. This clarinet, again, one of our custom models, is a very European-sounding instrument. Exceptional intonation, silver keys, and gold posts. It's very popular for not only orchestral players, but also jazz players and amateurs alike. Welcome to NAMM 2019 in the Yamaha display here at the Anaheim Marriott in uh, sunny Anaheim, California. I'm Matt Kearns, marketing manager for Banner Orchestral Accessories Yamaha. Uh, we're here today to talk about some different alternative instruments. Uh, the first one here is what we call the Venova. This is an instrument that uh, Yamaha created about a year ago. It's a hybrid blend between a recorder and a saxophone. So the body is lightweight, uh, plastic, uh, waterproof, durable. You can uh, take it places you never take a real instrument. Uh, like a saxophone or a clarinet because it's going to stand up to a lot more abuse and more difficult situations uh, than you normally would see. The fingering is very basic and simple. It's like a student recorder, like the instruments that uh, fifth graders start out on in elementary school. But it includes a real soprano saxophone mouthpiece and reed on it. So the sound you get out of it is a little bit more like a saxophone. But the fingerings are very simple and basic. So anyone who's ever thought about maybe trying a wind instrument like a clarinet or a sax, the Venova could be a really great way to start out trying it but without uh, uh, spending a whole lot of money or breaking the bank or having to invest a lot of time and experience uh, in learning how to play it. So uh, we call it a casual wind instrument. So what does that mean? Think of it kind of like a ukulele, but for wind instruments. Something that's fun to play, portable, taking places with you, uh, throw it in your backpack, take it to the park. Uh, I'm not a very good player. I'll blow up your notes here. You can hit sound if you want to, but uh, just so you can kind of get some sound. Let her rip. Yeah. <laughs> So a piece of plastic shouldn't really sound that much like a saxophone, but it does. It There's does, yeah. It sounds good. There's going on here that, to make that happen for you. So again, the Nova Casual Wind Instrument by Yamaha. It's a fun thing to play around with if you've ever thought about wind instruments. So, Neat. So, the next one... So, along that same thought of alternative instruments, things that maybe you, you wouldn't associate with a normal uh, band instrument world here, this is Yamaha's Pianica. It's a traditional melodica, which is a, a kind of a, a, an air powered keyboard, an air powered piano. Yeah, you can power with your own breath here. Uh, so, it's, it's, uh, this particular model has three octaves, uh, 37 keys. We have a couple smaller ones too out there. But basically, you just blow into it and it plays. It sounds kind of like a blend between a harmonica and an accordion. So, I'll just play the notes here for you. So, kind of a nice 
uh, accordion type sound there. It's really great if you want to cover an accordion part or a harmonica part and you don't know how to play a harmonica, you can play it just like a keyboard here. Uh, this brand new one that we just introduced is a little bit more geared towards adults. Melodica is traditionally been associated as a student instrument, like a, uh, something for kids in elementary schools, but this one we designed specifically for a little bit more mature audience. It's got a few internal design changes that make it sound warmer and richer, a darker sound, uh, and it's stylistically it looks a little bit uh, nicer, a little bit uh, more muted colors and, and uh, such, plus it comes with a nice uh, carrying case. So, uh, Pianica by Yamaha, uh, a nice, uh, another good way to get started with music.